changing that. See, I, I'm like a petty person. <laughs> I'm quite petty, actually. So, like, if somebody says something I don't like, not once, but if someone says it a bunch, it, I I keep a record. I keep a mental record. The champagne bottles. Champagne bottles. Yeah, that I, that I became. That's something. So, I had champagne. But I have champagne bottles engraved with the top of the list enemies of mine, and I wait for them to fuck up <laughs> and then I pop them. So like the most famous example of that is John Skipper, the old ESPN guy. I don't know who that is. He he ran ESPN. Oh, and Dana okay. just talked about it the other day because he said he was anti MMA. The deal never would have happened. He ran ESPN. So we had a show on ESPN, um Barstool Van Talk. And it it maybe set a record last one episode. He canceled it for things we said, which in hindsight, I wish we didn't say them the way we did, um, but it was years in the past. So we launched one episode. ESPN had a multi a little uprising about doing business with us, and uh, they canceled after one episode. They didn't tell us. And John Skipper was quoted as saying, I didn't realize Barstool Van Talk, that was the name of the show, Barstool Van Talk, would be associated with Barstool. That was a direct quote he had. <laughs> so we put him on a champagne bottle. Literally like three days later, he got blackmailed by his Coke dealer. Supposedly, <laughs> this is what happened. It had to, and had to step down. According to John, it's the only time he used this guy. He found a random Coke dealer off the street, impossible to believe, and got blackmailed. So he popped the champagne bottle. It was like per, it was perfect timing. He had to leave ESPN because of a Coke dealer. So that's that's the story. <laughs> that's the story. Yeah, and, <laughs> and they went over, <laughs> he went over to run DAZN. Uh, he oh, did, he runs DAZN. He, now? he used to. He doesn't oh. anymore. Um, so yeah, that. But the champagne bottles. And then uh, HBO did a quick little like documentary on us. I thought it was going to be fair and even. That's one of the last times I'll. That was almost the last time I believed the media would be fair. It wasn't. It was a hit piece, but they showed the champagne bottles, so people became aware of it. Mm, that's you know? funny. Yeah, that's funny. So I am yeah. petty in that respect. <laughs> well, I, you I, should be petty about that. That's fucking so stupid. The guy was doing coke. <laughs> imagine getting black. And by the way, who like if he's just like. I don't know. Maybe I'm naive, but to be like, yeah, I've done coke. Like, who cares? Yeah, I think in that world, you can't even admit you did coke. Which is crazy. It's a stupid world. It's a stupid world where you have to pretend to be a fake person. Yeah. Like, look at these people on Good Morning America that are having a, an affair. Yeah, John see, there Skipper it is. details his ESPN exit and a cocaine extortion plot. Da, da, da. 27 years. Jesus Christ. The guy did good work, so he likes to do a little coke. He had a substance addiction. What did it say there? He has an addiction. Da, da, da. I don't even think he admitted to that. He's just like, I did. I tried it. He's he the only it, guy. He called it. He called it a substance addiction. Did he? Yeah. John Skipper suddenly resigned. Uh, I thought he said it once. Yeah. To seek treatment. That's what you do when you get busted. Skipper, 62, the married father of two sons, was raised in North Carolina. I don't give a fuck where he's from. 27 years in Disney. They washed down the toilet for a little Coke. Meanwhile, you look at the body of work that he did. Did he do a good job? I don't know. But, I mean, if you kept him fucking hired for that long, I would assume he was doing good work. Fucking knuckleheads. He says he did it on his own, that he blow. resigned. Just a little blow. Who cares? Who cares? I think I wrote that. 